Hey guys, MentorDude14 here. Welcome to Tech Teardown video number one. So today we're going to be doing a teardown on the Canon P23DH3. Um, it's like a adding machine, I believe they're called. Um, got this for free, it was just like basically junk. Um, it didn't come with a roll of paper. I think it usually comes with um, paper that gets fed in and it prints it. It's like a printing mechanism, but uh, we'll get to that later. Um, it still works partially so you can turn on here and there are some funny issues here but most of it works pretty well it has print mode so every time you add it starts printing so that's pretty cool but um the 8 key doesn't or does work okay some of the keys don't actually work like half the time and things so it does have some issues along the way um, I just picked it up for free, picked it up in a pile of junk. So today we're going to do a teardown on it. And it should be pretty interesting. I'm really interested in seeing like the printing mechanism and the motor system in there. So um, let's see. First we got to unscrew these. There's two screws up here. I suspect there might be some behind these um, rubber pads, but we'll see. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, this, I suspect, is a battery door or something, probably a backup or something along those lines. We'll see. Let's see what it is. Okay, let's see. Yep, it's a battery backup, so there's a nice little 3 volt in here, a Max L. Yep, Max L. Hmm. Well, we're going we're gonna to leave that in there for now because uh, that's... It's not part of the teardown. Um, this, I suspect, is for batteries. Yep, to make it portable. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so you don't have to plug it into wall power. In this case, I have the wall power uh, piece. So now we're just going to unscrew these. And um, let's see if we can get in here and see all the interesting parts. Nope, not there yet. This screwdriver is really nice, it has a magnetic tip, so it pulls out the screw. Love the magnetic tip screwdrivers, they're so handy. I highly recommend getting one if you don't have one. Alright, let's see. Okay, it's not going to open yet, so there must be some more screws. I suspect behind these pads, let's see if I can bring them off. Nope, nothing. Hmm. Either that or it's really tightly uh, fit together. I don't know. Maybe they piece it together really well. Uh, nope, nothing behind that one. Or that one. Well, that is strange. Okay, well, that was useless. Um, I just moved the rubber pads and there was nothing. Um, hmm. I don't feel any screw holes. So I don't think there is one. There could be one behind the label, but I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's try opening up the printing area here, this print door. Yes, that comes right off. Good. Okay, we're going to put that aside. Uh, oh, so now you can see some of the guts in there. It's a little gross. It's a lot of dust and stuff. Um, that must must be like ink or something in this area. It looks like a number roll. Uh, motor here. I'm not sure exactly where this one looks like it's geared to this, so it, this motor must move the print wheel back and forth on the paper, on the page. So that's pretty interesting. And they used uh, interesting wiring here. This looks kind of like a twist tie, but it's actually wiring. It's like flat wiring instead of the typical round type that uh, a lot of things use. So that is um, certainly interesting. Um, let's get back to the back side here. Maybe we can pry it open. I see there's a crack right there. Let me just grab my screwdriver. Hmm. All right. Maybe just prying it open will do the trick. I don't know. Maybe there are more screws and I'm just missing them. I could be missing them, guys. I don't know. All right. Let's see. If I just Use this down the side. Nope. Okay, I'm just shaving the plastic. That's useless. 
Alright, just a second. Alright guys, we're back. I figured it out. Um, took a lot of prying with the screwdriver, but um, it was just really tight snaps along the way. There weren't actually other screws, so let's take this cover off and see what's inside. Alright, so here we have the insides. Um, this must be, yeah, these are the power connections, including the external power connections. Soldered right in there. They did a decent soldering job on the inside, definitely good. I mean, it's Canon. They're a pretty good company. They make nice things. Uh, the mechanical parts here are really interesting. I like all the gears and things. Definitely interesting. It looks like it's an Epson uh, printer part there. So that is interesting. They use that uh, with the Canon calculator part, or the adding machine, I guess, part. Uh, little dust bunnies here. It's a little gross. Definitely gross, but um, luckily no cockroaches or other things. Apparently some gadgets can have bugs and other things living inside of them. So always be careful if you're going to pick up used gadgets or um, other things that have already been used and you don't know where they're coming from because sometimes they're really filthy, unfortunately. So now I'm just going to start um, taking off these screws. I'd like to see the back of this. It probably won't be that interesting, to be honest. Um, I get a feeling it's probably just the buttons, the contacts, but I'm going to take it apart anyway, just so we can see. This is a teardown after all, so we want to see uh, everything basically taken apart. I'm going to remove that screw. Just a few more screws here. Always fun to take gadgets apart, gotta say. Um, always fun to do this stuff. Um, usually I end up just putting them back together if I'm not going to use the parts from inside. And sometimes I can resell them at like a flea market or wherever, it depends. But um, this machine has had quite a bit of use. Uh, some of the functions don't work, actually. I did some more testing off of camera and I can see why they got rid of it whoever got rid of it. So, yeah, probably not going to resell or anything, but it's just cool to take it apart. I really like the printer um, assembly over there with the gears and things. It's really neat. Uh, I'm going to get a close-up on that with the camera in just a second. But first, uh, we have this board here, which has one more screw that I did not see. Just a second. That we're going to be taking off. And there we go. So now we can just lift this up, hopefully. Is there still a screw? Oh my gosh. Alright, let me check. Let's see. Careful with the connections. Oh, wow, the whole thing. Wow, the whole thing comes out. Okay, just a second. Let's see, bring this around. This should just pop off, if I'm not wrong. Unless I am missing a screw somewhere, I believe it's ready. Oh, there's a screw right there. Wow. Okay, sorry guys. Didn't didn't see that one. There's a lot of screws. Okay. Now I feel stupid. All right. Anyways, take out that screw. Okay. There we go. Now it should have a lot less resistance. There we go. Nice and smooth. Just lift this part up. So as you can see, pretty boring. Uh, kind of gross. A lot of dust and stuff. It's just the buttons. It's really not that interesting. Uh, just the button pads there that connect to the buttons. So we're just going to lower that back down because nothing much to see there. On the back here, you can see they put the gunk over the chip. That's probably the main chip of the calculator. So moving on from the buttons, we can clearly see um, here is the display. Um, it's uh, all like connected in there. It looks like they use some sort of padding, like foam, probably to protect it. And that just holds the display in there. So pretty simple, it's just an eight segment display to display the digits. You guys saw it earlier. Um, this is gonna be more interesting. I think this is the most interesting part of this, actually. The uh, Epson printer assembly here. You can see the Epson logo there, or it says Epson, that's it. Um, so this is really neat. There's a lot of gears and stuff. 
uh, really neat stuff. I love like gears and motors and things in uh, all sorts of technology. It really makes them more interesting. And with today's stuff, most gadgets and things don't have actual moving parts anymore. Everything is solid state. So uh, seeing some moving parts is always fun. Uh, this part is really neat. Just has like the gears and things. Um, could probably use that in a future project for something. I don't know what, but it would make something neat, I'm sure. If I just messed around with the gears. It's pretty cool how it works. Uh, spring mechanism here. I believe this is like the ink thing. Yeah, so it's on a spring, so it always goes back to the first line after it prints. So when it prints, this motor must bring it out, so it goes do 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 prints across, and then it goes back because the spring forces it back, and then it's ready to print again for the next line. So that is a pretty interesting system there, and um, really like that piece. Definitely going to keep um, this assembly. It's pretty neat. Could make a cool future project. Um, let's put that back. So um, that's about it for the teardown, really. Uh, you guys have seen every part of this. Um, the cabling, the buttons on the back here, and everything. Uh, there really isn't much left um, to see. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like the Tech Teardown, then of course leave a like down below. Um, if you'd like to see more of these Tech Teardown videos, then comment what, would, what you um, would like to see. I might have the gadget, I might not. It just depends on what I have on hand that I will want to tear down. Um, and uh, if you guys like them, then I'll keep the videos coming along with my normal videos. So, um, hope you guys liked the video. See you guys next time.